is a little video of my slip clutch tapping head I designed and built. Notice how the chuck is free to spin inside this head. It's adjustable right here. This is actually made like an automotive clutch system. That's a 1032 tap. 1032 taps are pretty beefy taps. Not real likely to break. So I'm going to kind of tighten this up. And the trick is, we want it to get at the tap and slip at the same time. And I'm going to intentionally let this tap bottom out, something we always try to avoid, but with this system it's, it's permissible. Let's see how my settings are working here. I'm at, uh, set at 600 RPM. Oh, we're not tight enough. Try it again. This is really, I made this really for much smaller taps than a 1032. Now you can see that the chuck is not rotating anymore. There we are. Chuck's not rotating, but the collar is. I'm going to tighten that up to save my adjustment. Now we'll back up. There we are. Now we'll zoom in and do the next hole. Okay, we're ready for the next hole. I really made this for real small taps, like 632. 632 tap is one of the taps that's most likely to break for me because of the uh, ratio of the depth of thread and the, and the uh, cross-sectional area of the screw. Uh, after you put threads on a 632 tap, there's not a lot of beef in the center. Yeah. Okay, now we're slipping on the, the chuck is slipping on the tap. There we are. Back out. Up for the next one. Little shadow oil. And of course, this probably wouldn't work on a bigger tap, like a quarter twenty. Um, I don't, I don't break very many quarter twenty taps, so that wasn't the goal on this. Okay, that concludes the demonstration of my slip clutch tapping head adjustable. Wow, that's pretty tight. Okay.